Hey, what's up everyone? This is Julie Reynolds, AKA Nurse Jar. In this training video, I'll be demonstrating the 2022 Pearson View Credentia and Prometric Testable Skill Transfers from Bed to Wheelchair. Let's go ahead and get started. Hi, good morning, Ms. Donna. My name is Julie. I'm your CNA, and today I'll be transferring you from your bed to your wheelchair, okay? Okay. All right, Ms. Donna, first, before I get started, I'm just going to make sure your bed is in a low safe position, and it's not, so I'm going to go ahead and just lower it for you, okay? Okay. You're doing okay today? I am. Thank awesome. You. I'm just checking to make sure that your wheels are locked, and they are. I'm going to hand you your call light. There you go, just press that button if you need me for anything, okay? Okay. All right, I think that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and provide you with privacy by closing your privacy curtain, okay? Okay, thank All you. All right, mm-hmm. All right, um, is there anything I can get for you or do for you before I go wash my hands and gather my supplies? No. Okay, washing hands. Now, the only items you'll need to gather um, will be a gate belt in the wheelchair. For Credentia and Pearson View, remember, your supplies will be located on a centralized table somewhere in the testing room. Prometric, your supplies will be at the bedside. So what I'm gonna do is, because I have the bed remote on uh, the person's right side of the bed, this is where I'm going to uh, place the wheelchair, okay? That way, if I have to lower the bed or uh, raise the height of the bed, I have the wheelchair right here. Now, the first thing that you want to do before you actually start assisting the person into a seated position on the side of their bed, you want to make sure that you prep your wheelchair. So what I'm going to do is fold up the legs on the wheelchair, and I'm going to swing them out to the side okay i'm going to make sure that i lock the wheelchair there we go locking it and then we're going to put the legs out to the side i'm just i folded them up and i swung them out to the side now you want to make sure that you have the wheelchair right next to the bed at an angle so once you stand that person up um, you can just swivel them into the chair or you know without ha them having to take too many steps all right mrs donna i have um the wheelchair and your the gate belt i'm just going to take your call light from you real quick okay, okay? and for my safety i'm just going to raise the level of the bed okay Okay. Now, remember for Pearson View and Credentia, body mechanics is not emphasized. But if you are testing under Prometric, uh, body mechanics is emphasized and you have to raise the bed to a comfortable working level for yourself. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Pearson View and Credentia, this is not a mandatory step. All right, so there's two ways that you can actually get the person into a seated position. You can either take the time to raise the head of bed, okay, but I encourage, highly encourage you not to do so because that will take up a lot of your time, all right, and you're being time for this skill or for your entire exam. The easiest way and most time management way to do this is to interlock your arm with the resident's arm, give them a cue, and then sit them up. So you'll see how I'm going to do that now. Miss Donna, I'm just gonna interlock my arm with your arm. Okay. So I have my arm interlocked with Donna's arm, and then I'm placing my other arm behind her shoulder blade. Okay, Miss Donna, on the count of three, I'm gonna sit you up, okay? okay. One, two, three, we'll sit up. Okay, awesome, good job. Okay, make sure you ask the person if they're feeling dizzy or if they're feeling okay. Are you feeling dizzy right now? No. Okay. At this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure the gown at the waist because when I place the gate belt, 
the gate belt cannot be touching the person's street clothes. So that's what I'm doing now. Are you still feeling okay, Ms. Donna? I am. Okay. Now at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to swing Ms. Donna's legs over to the side of the bed. Ms. Donna, I'm just gonna roll down your sheets, okay? Okay. There we go. You down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my arm under your thighs and then my other hand will go behind your back and on the count of three, I'm gonna swivel you around to the side of the bed, okay? okay? All right, and you can just hold on here. There we go. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. There we go. You feeling okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So, you do not want to release your touch from the client, okay? Because Ms. Donna's feet are not flat on the ground yet, okay? So what I'm gonna do is lower the bed. Ms. Donna, I'm just gonna lower the bed, okay? Okay. To its lowest point. And then once it gets to its lowest point, I'm gonna have Ms. Donna scooch up to the edge of the bed until her feet are flat on the floor. Okay, Ms. Donna, can you go ahead and scooch up until your feet are flat on the floor? Okay, a little bit more. Okay, awesome. You're feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. Okay, go ahead and lower your feet or move up a little bit more because your heels are not... There we go. Awesome. You okay? I'm okay. All right. So now at this time, you can do one or two things. You can either place the gate belt on the person or you can put the person's shoes on. If you feel like you're going to forget to put on the person's shoes, I would go ahead and do that at this time. Miss Donna, do you need help putting on your shoes? No, I can do it. Okay, go Thank ahead. You. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ms. Donna, I'm going to go ahead and put your gate belt on, okay? Okay. This is going to help me transfer you from the bed to the wheelchair, okay? Okay. If you could raise your arms for me. Awesome. Now, when placing the gate belt, you want to make sure that you stream it through the buckle teeth first. So, you see the teeth here, the grooves? This is where you want to, the belt to enter. You want to make sure that it's off to the side, not directly over the person's belly button. Ms. Donna is going to be a little tight, okay? okay? But it will loosen up. You want to check with two finger breasts, okay, to make sure it's not too tight, not too loose. Ms. Donna, I'm just checking to make sure I have your gown closed as much as possible in the back. There we go. And then you're going to stream it through the second loop. Now you can either leave the excess belt hanging or you can tuck it in. You feeling okay, Ms. Donna? I am. Okay, awesome. All right. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you have to stabilize the person's legs. The easiest way to do this is knee to knee. So Ms. Donna, I'm going to place my leg, your leg, my leg and your leg, okay? And you have to make sure that your knees are touching the person's knees, okay? When you cup the gate belt, you wanna cup it with your hands up, fingertips pointing upwards. Okay, Ms. Donna, you can go ahead and place your hands on the side of the bed. On the count of three, we're gonna stand, okay? Okay. And you can help by pushing off of the bed with your hands, okay? Okay. All right, on the count of three, one, two, three. Stand. Awesome job. You feel okay? I do. Feeling dizzy? No. Okay. Go ahead and turn to your right. Okay. Can you feel the wheelchair? I can. Okay. Go ahead and take a seat. There we go. You can hold on to the armrest. Awesome. Okay, Ms. Donna. You feel okay? I do. Okay. Now what you want to do is have the person to lean forward. Ms. Donna, can you lean forward? And you want to check to make sure their hips are back toward or touching the back of the seat. And Ms. Donna, you are. Yours okay. 
Now I'm going to remove the gate belt. This is one of the most forgotten steps, the removal of the gate belt. Okay, Ms. Donna, can you raise your arms for me, please? Awesome. Lean forward a little bit. Awesome. Okay. You feel okay? I feel okay. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just rolling up the gate belt. I'm going to place it back in stores where I got it from. Here's your car lot, call light, Ms. Donna. I'm going to go ahead and place Ms. Donna's feet on the footrest. I'm going to lift your legs up here. Awesome. I'm going to unlock the wheelchair so I can get this foot rest out. Okay, place your foot here. Awesome. Is there any particular way you want to be facing? Do you want to face out towards your door or face towards your wall? I'd like to face towards the door, please. Okay. So I'm just going to turn you around here. Uh oh, sorry. There we go. Now you can see people who are passing by. Gonna lock your wheelchair. Okay, you have your call light there. I'm just gonna straighten up your sheets, okay? Okay. There we go. All right, Miss Donna. So you have your call light. Um, is there anything else I can do for you before I leave? No. Okay. Thank you. Call light is in hand. Bed is in a low safe position. Bed walls are locked. Would you like for me to keep your privacy curtain open or do you want me to close them? Um, if you can open them. Okay. There we go. Thank you. All right, Ms. Donna, you have a good day, okay? Thank you, you too. All right, thank you. At this time, you will stay washing hands. Wait a few seconds. Go back through all of your steps, all of the actions that you took. If you feel happy and confident uh, and uh, with the steps that you performed, you can now verbalize washing hands, skill complete.